from it's Victor Gonzalez, isn't it, in the 99? Yes, it is. Back to the front, and the BMW comes under challenge from the Aston Martin again on the high side. But it just looks to me as JCT has got a little bit better on the brakes. And here it comes right over the top. Sean McAllister in the number 39 car bar car. Hilly Deacon's right in there as well. She's gone to second. The car bar Porsche, the grey and green car, up to third from nowhere. What a huge draft. Great run by Sean McAllister. Up to fourth, up to third now. And being followed through by... Is that the, bit, the uh, 28 Porsche yep. as well in there? That's the Eric Figueroa's car. Yeah, Eric Figueroa's from Macuco Beach in Florida. He's taken over from Stephen McAleer. That's a Paul City car. That's the car that won the race last year. Slightly different col colours for that community beer works car, but uh, a lot of excitement in that team. They're going to be running the full campaign this year. They only went half the season last year, and we're in con championship contention. Uh, at that point, and they, they had no plans to go north of the border to Canadian Time Motorsport Park, so fell back in the championship and then pulled out before the end of the year. But what a run uh, that uh, uh, Sean McAllister had there on that car barn with Peregrine uh, Porsche, the, the sort of black, uh, grey and gr bright green car. He was at 1.3 seconds behind the three leaders on the previous lap, but that was a huge draft he got I coming that... down the front straight. And what was interesting there is that uh, the... Uh, the Aston Martin looks really good on initial acceleration, but at the end of the straights, that BMW is fast. Yeah, the and, new BMW. Very, and very good on the brakes as well. Yeah. It does seem as though the terminal velocity right. of the Aston, it just either aerodynamically or power-wise, it's just running out of pace. Quick note coming in from the Rebel Rock Racing team. Andrew Davis has let us know that the crew is working to get the car back out. If it's possible, the 71 will be joining. A bit of, of news going forward from that is that that team is looking to grab uh, one of the new Z06 GT3.R Corvettes and do the Endurance Cup, the Michelin Endurance Cup next year. So Rebel Rock potentially moving up to, Michel to the Michelin Endurance Cup at next year with the Z06. That news uh, breaking over the lunchtime period when that Z06 uh, was unveiled and it's sitting there uh, down in front of the uh, Chevrolet building. Haley Deegan leads across the line and holds on to the lead ahead of Sean McAllister in second. So it's Ford Mustang, Ford Performance Mustang 41 from Sean McAllister in the pool sitting. Porsche in second, third the JCT to Betts car, that has not stopped the last time around that car, but it wasn't too long since it was in the pit lane. They head onto the banking, and it was a typical drafting manoeuvre that took the Ford Performance Mustang into the lead, and Sean McAllister followed through on JCT and made it into second place as they were crossing the line on the tri-oval, but Hilly Teagan got that done very early indeed. A penalty for the number 58, the Crucial Motorsports McLaren pit lane protocol violation. I know no more than that. Drive through. Nick Damon is down in the pit lane. Yeah, in, in at the uh, 28 car, they were cheering away as the, uh, over the overtake with a couple of laps to go. There's five cars to go, over two going through. Just trying to go grab Steve. Steve McAleer, the RS1 team, he, he disappeared about 14 levels up. I'm, I'm at Andrew Marriott levels of height here at the moment, up 14 steps. Um, Steve, you we, we, yeah, we were on the, the grid, we were talking about the issues with fuel consumption. Were, did those two um, early yellows solve those fuel issues for the car? Uh, no. Uh, you know, we're gonna, we're, everybody's going to work on the reverse fuel window. You know, the, the ideal strategy, I think, for everybody is, you know, a caution comes out with 40 minutes to go and, you know, we have a, we have a fight to the end. Uh, definitely, as I said to you on the on the fan walk there, the Mustangs are really strong. Um, they didn't they didn't fall off as much as I thought. But uh, again, the RS1 Porsche, we're, we're right in the thick of things here, and uh, we're certainly going to fight for the win today. Eric uh, Figueroa is replaced. He's in there and fighting. I mean, you, I, I, there's a lot of wincing, a lot of cheering. I mean, it's a very, very close battle every time into turn one, isn't it? I mean, if you watch, there's there's battles all through the field. Uh, you know, multiple manufacturers. This is a uh, a, a huge uh, a huge race for us and uh, you can see the competition again is so tough we're we get a top three out of here and then no damage i'd be excited but i, I will tell you if we're close at the end i'm gonna go for it
it looks like the um, the draft is really strong today is it is the wind in a particular direction is making it more than normal yeah the draft is always it's always a fun game playing the draft here a lot of the uh the experienced guys certainly the nascar boys and, and girls know how to do it as well and there's a couple of cars that don't so uh the draft is humongous here and the side draft and everything else it's uh it's going to be a battle on the bank and that's for sure well, it looks like you might have some more tactics to play because the 13 Mustang, Steve McAleer's car, that's, that's dropped a, uh, they, 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 they kind of dropped a um, uh, bumper, so maybe another caution. Well, obviously I'm, having, I'm rooting for Chad McCombie and Jensen Altsman in that Mustang as well, you know, McCombie and McAleer racing, but uh, hopefully those boys finish second today and we finish first. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Shit. racing against himself. Yeah, he is racing against himself. It must be odd to see his name on the side of the car. Uh, whilst that interview was going on, the number 95 turn of BMW went behind the wall. There's damage to the right side and to the rear of that McCumbi uh, McAleer Mustang, which is going for second position and being pushed towards it by the uh, number 42, Zane Smith driven car, but the Porsche on the inside, which is Stephen McAleer's car, is holding on. So we've got McAleer's car uh, alongside McAleer's car. So the McAleer McCombie machine and Stephen McAleer, the car he drives, are fighting for second position. There's almost a touch there between the two of them. Chad McCombie, that was for the lead of the race, excuse me. As Haley Deegan had dropped back to fourth position. Things changing so quickly. So three Mustangs in the top four, five cars. Fourth different leader then in this race as Chad McCombie becomes the, the latest one in that uh, McCombie McAleer Ford Mustang, car number 13. Really good run by him. That was a interesting so, battle on the straight oh, too. That was that? very nearly a huge incident. Uh, as uh, Chad McCumbie was breaking into the chicane, that's how he got the damage, uh, and was side by side with one of the PF racing cars, and that has damaged the sill, the sill cover on the right hand side, and the whole of the rear bumper, which goes right up underneath the lights and to the tail gate section of that car, or underneath the rear spoiler, should I say. And that has come off that car. So Mustang, Mustang, Porsche, Mustang, Porsche. Three Mustangs in the top five, as I was mentioning. McCumbie and Zane Smith from Sean Mac McAllister, Haley Deegan, has led the motor race and scored as a lap leader. In TCR, the Alpha has pulled away by a couple of seconds, actually from Victor Gonzalez, who's fighting with Harry Gottsacker. So Alpha 5 from Red, White and Black, Honda 99, and then the 33 Elantra. More smoke out the back of the Toyota as John Branham in the number 25 TR3 racing Aston is down along the pit lane. And stopping at the very far end of the pits. So let's see what they're doing. Going to work on what appears to be a full service. Right side tyres are being done and fuel is going in. Yeah, that's one of the car scores that did not stop Correct. during that uh, early caution period. The other one being the number 25 car, John Capestro de Betts running in the seventh position at the moment in car number 25 for auto technique racing. So certainly we'll expect, we will expect to see him in the pit lane pretty soon now. We'll hand over that number 25 car for the second stint in, in, in this race to Rob Walker. Davis Hall racing Different name. <laughs> Not that one, I think we have to follow that with. The battle for the a second, third, fourth, fifth in TCR. As I say, some two, nearly three seconds now behind the leader. Gonzalez has been putting up a good fight there, but Harry Gottsacker has just squeezed through. Matt Pombal now sitting behind the red, white, and black VGRT, Victor Gonzalez racing team Honda, and then behind them it's the Gavin Ernstone 